Google Analytics 4 is extremely hard to build dashboards for. There's a massive learning curve and understanding how to get the data that you need out of Google Analytics 4 to understand it can be a huge lift. It can take a lot of time. But AI is totally changing that. It's making it where you can just prompt to pull the information out of Google Analytics 4 that you need. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a live dashboard about your Google Analytics 4 data entirely with AI. All right, so the app that we're going to be using today is this company called graph.com. It's an AI dashboard builder and it has all these data connectors that you can use to get your data into the application. So once you sign up for free, you're gonna be dropped into a app dashboard that looks like this. And this is where you're going to prompt to build the dashboard from. I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. Before we do that, let's talk about data sources. So you can connect your data sources by going to the settings page and connecting a data source. And so for this one, it would be Google Analytics 4. And once I've connected that data source, I'm gonna see it in this select source. And I'm gonna go and now prompt, build a dashboard about this data and hit send message. And immediately what it's going to start doing is writing code to pull in the information that it needs to build out a dashboard of all of the most relevant information that a Google Analytics 4 dashboard should have. And the best part about this is you don't even have to learn how to use the application. This is why it's so powerful for data analytics. You just have to be able to describe what you want in plain English. And then the application is going to be smart enough to go and pull in that information. So it just completed its initial creation of this dashboard. You can see all of this code that's streaming in here. So what's happening is it is writing the code that's necessary to create the interactive graphs that you need for whatever data that it's pulling in. And this dashboard is completely customizable. I'm gonna show you that in a second. I can edit the position of these, change the size, et cetera. And I can also go and modify the dashboard by prompting within the chat box. I can say whatever I want here in this chat box. I can select the different chart types from bar, line, pie, table, et cetera. And it did user by session over time. It's looking at total sessions versus total users. It also created a graph showing new users by average session duration. This is something that's really valuable actually now that I'm looking at this because I can see that the session duration on average is increasing over time, which means that we're improving the overall value of the pages, the application that the people are landing on. And then we also have sessions by referral source. So you can see direct, Twitter, Facebook, Google, email, and we have the top pages that people are going to from a page view standpoint. So to the home page, it's 10,000 page views. So it just made this out of the box, but now I want to go and modify it. And so I can do that. I can say something like make an area chart that shows me new users over time. And I hit go and it's going to start rendering that graph right below in the dashboard. And while it's working on that graph, I can do more things. I can ask it questions like how many people are getting to the register page on mobile and on desktop. I'm trying to understand if more people are getting to the registered page on a mobile phone or a desktop device. And I can take that broad question and I can ask that and it's gonna go and create a graph that's most likely to answer that question for me. And while it's working on that register page views graph, I'm gonna go and just do some research. And I'm gonna ask AI, what are the most important things I should have in my Google Analytics 4 dashboard? And I'm just using this as a way to get ideas of what should be included in my dashboard. And I like this, just total users. Let's make a scorecard of that. So I'm just gonna copy that and select the chart type as scorecard and then paste in users, total number of users over time. So it just is gonna go generate that. And let's read through some of these other ones. Active users, new users, sessions. I also want to track returning users. Let's get that added in there as well. But I want to make this a area chart. So I'm going to select area chart and then paste that in. And it looks like this one's having an error loading. So let's go see what's going on here. I'm just going to go and ask it, why aren't you showing data? And what just happened there is it just reasoned. It expected the database schema to try to understand it better. And it's now writing new code to try to fix the query that it's trying to execute. And then something else that I found interesting in this is we're driving traffic from one of the emails that we send from. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to say graph sessions by source. Have this be a line graph over time. And what I love about this is that you can use the data in the dashboard to help influence what other graphs that you should make within the dashboard. So as questions arise, you can just answer those super quickly. 
Now let's go back to this one. It's actually prompting us with the reasoning behind why it can't move forward. So let's see why. And when it gets stuck like this, what I end up doing is changing the tar chart type into table and then re-describing what I'm trying to create. Show me page views of the forward slash register page by device type. And that's how you can really easily use AI to build a dashboard for your Google Analytics for data. AI is going to totally change how we do data analytics. It's basically, it's basically going to make it so that every person on your team is going to be able to understand the data and get insights from that data. And if you want to sign up for graph.com, click the link in the description. You'll get a 14 day free trial and full transparency. I am one of the co-founders of Graft. I want whatever feedback that you have. We're building this in public. You can comment below any of the questions that you have. Thanks again.